welcome again to the lecture series The Ascended Masters Answer the Fundamental Questions of Life. This lesson is entitled Lesson 16, Part 4. Ascensions after 1938. Presented here are individuals who made the ascension under the new dispensation where the physical body is left behind later to be cremated. William Cassier, also called Brother Bill. William Cassier prepared the way for Mr. Ballard and the Ascended Host in the way that John the Baptist prepared the way for Jesus. He went to Bible classes explaining the meaning of the statement, I am that I am. And he talked about biblical passages that could be interpreted as referring to re-embodiment. In this way, he laid the groundwork for a future visit by Mr. Bellock. Father Bill met Mr. Bellock right after his experience in Mount Shasta. Mr. Bellock put his arm around Father Bill, saying, Billy boy, we have been working together, which means in former embodiments, many times. Brother Bill was first made an appointed messenger by St. Germain. Later, on December the 25th, 1934, he was made a full messenger by St. Germain. In a dictation given through Mr. Ballard by beloved St. Germain, which we have in our possession at headquarters, it states, Beloved Billy Boy, it is my joy and privilege to make you a full messenger in this dispensation of the I am activity. I congratulate you on the splendid work you are doing. Brother Bill gave many classes. Sometimes he lectured to five different groups during the week. He stated to me, when Mr. Ballard or I was lecturing, there was hardly ever any class during which there did not occur a major miracle. Many times people left their crutches at the meetings. About 30 of these miracles are recorded in Brother Bill's book, Miracles of Today. He left all his possessions of a spiritual nature with me, and we found additional accounts of about 20 healings. Brother Bill told me that about two-thirds of the people that requested healings from him were healed. He stated that Mr. Ballard had the same results. In a private dictation of St. Germain through Mr. Ballard, given on August 18, 1939, Brother Bill was told that he had earned the ascension. This document is also in my possession. After leaving the IM activity, Brother Bill worked as a real estate salesman and he sold many Bridge to Freedom books. I sold many books. I was Geraldine's best salesman, he told me. My wife Annette and I met Brother Bill at his last public lecture in Grants Pass, Oregon in 1985. We became good friends. We visited him several times at his last home, the Veterans Home in Yountville, California. He was very much interested in the work of the AMTF and he became a member. When AMTF printed the book Unveiled Mysteries in 1986, he shouted with joy, it's about time. For explanation, this book and others of the St. Germain series were not made available to bookstores and the general public from about 1940 to 1986. Brother Bill was in his late 80s when we met him. When we talked about the light and this teaching, his entire countenance radiated. To me, Brother Bill was the most sincere, humble, polite, 
and knowledgeable gentleman I ever met in my life. He was truly a saint, an inspiration to all who had the privilege of knowing him. He exhibited total mastery over the qualities of the seven rays, and he gave us many insights into the activity of the 1930s and in the way the Brotherhood operates. Brother Bill made the ascension at the age of 90 in 1987. An ascension service was held for him by members of the EMTF. Brother Bill ascended under the special dispensation given in 1938, which I explained previously. Mr. Guy Ballard ascended under the same conditions. His biography is listed in the AMTF book Ascended Masters and Their Retreats. Now I have a final word to the students. Using a structured approach, I have endeavored to give the student a digest of the most important points of the teachings of the Bridge to Freedom. For the student who wishes to continue in the development of his spiritual knowledge, I wish to point to the full series of the EMTF books, which are available through the EMTF website. These books, when accompanied with practical application, will assist the student of drawing ever closer to the great goal of our life, the Ascension. Having now come to the end of the 16 lessons, we wish to leave you with some words from Lord Maitreya. The left Chiles, with knowledge comes responsibility. The use of the sacred truth of the Ascended Masters determines the amount of added illumination which shall be given to you. Walk in the light. Expand the light, project the light, be the light of God in action on earth, here and now. This concludes Lesson 16, The Path to the Ascension, which is the last lesson of the series, The Ascended Masters Answer the Fundamental Questions of Life. I sincerely hope you enjoyed these lessons. God bless you.